he busted an oil cooler, tried to drive it around the racetrack. They're trying to fix that thing, but once they get it fixed, you guys know how it is. He could have already spun a bearing, but they won't know until they try to crank it next time. Glenn Allen right now has ruptured an oil, and that's oil that's burning on the racetrack, I'm fairly sure, but unfortunately, it's burning under the gas tank. Looks like Randy LaJoy may have gotten into the back of 56 Jeff Crow. Yeah. And there goes Glenn Allen spinning. Glenn Allen almost turned over there. You see Jeff Burton going on the outside there, just skirting by. Mark Martin shoots by in the 60 there in the middle. From Jeff Burton's car. That looked pretty wild. Steve Park got a great run down in the corner. Oh, Trouble again. Spinning at the corner. Glenn Allen, everybody else goes around. We've got a mess in turn two. Wow. He oh, got he touched clipped there. Fuller. 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 Fuller got into the left rear there and just turned him right around. Oh, and there comes Brad Layton. I never did see that before. Didn't see that hit moments ago. Mark Green in the 37. Now he lets off the brakes to continue on. Look what happens. He has no choice but go veer dead right because of the way his wheels were turned. And heavy impact with Glenn Allen. Great call, BP. Those wheels got him right up across the racetrack into the Barbasol Ford. There is Jeffrey Bodine, the Dennis Shoemaker car spinning. Okay. Now he's outside of Jeff Green. It almost looks like something might happen to the car the way something that might have broken. Yeah, yeah, something broke or cut a tire. Oh, he hit hard. Ooh, sure did. But yeah, he was just he was inside of the three and all of a sudden he makes a hard right. 